If there's one thing that we desert rats crave, it's a patch of green now and then. This presentation features a case study of how to get more use out of the West's most precious resource, water, and create new venues for two-legged and four-legged critters. So get ready to hear about how you too can turn a golf course into a multi-use facility and keep the peace between golfers, dog walkers, joggers, and yes, even cat people. Since we are all gathered here in Arizona, the buzzword is arid. Okay, everyone, take a moment and reapply that chapstick or lipstick. States east of the 100th meridian generally average about 100 gallons per capita per day, while states west of there range upwards of 200 or more gallons. Aggressive water reduction campaigns like the one in Albuquerque have drastically reduced water consumption from over 250 gallons to almost half that amount. While that's great, it has resulted in a more xeric landscape that is not, shall we say, inviting for an afternoon siesta or for dogs. This has made communal green spaces all the more important and popular. If you want to grow turf in the Southwest, you need about 43 inches of water annually. That translates to about 27 gallons of water on every square foot of grass. So for the average golf course, this means more than 1 million gallons of water for every acre per year. Which brings me to our case study, the University of New Mexico North Golf Course. First of all, let me confess, I love this place. It's where I run before sunrise and where I go to watch the sun sink, to golf, and believe it or not, occasionally walk my cat. In addition to my perspective as a neighbor, this golf course has been part of my planning practice. Starting in 2008, our firm, Decker Perich Sabatini, embarked upon a long overdue update to UNM's master plan. Dale Decker, the founding partner, grew up near this place and is attached to it as I am. Having grown up here uh, and having grown up within a block of that golf course, it's, it's probably one of the coolest urban open spaces in our community. It's probably one of the most used uh, spaces, uh, open spaces in our community relative to the trail that was going around it. Our work on the master plan was partly spurred on by a huge controversy about the golf course, ignited by a proposal to turn it into senior housing development. The golf course, used informally for decades as a place to walk, run, and exercise dogs, had become the de facto open space for this area. After a series of raucous meetings with the neighbors and general backlash against the university, along with serious political pressure at the state level, UNM quietly dropped plans for the retirement community. During the two-year process of creating the UNM Master Plan, the issue of what to do with the golf course continually surfaced. It was only after the Master Plan did not propose new construction that the relationship began to improve. At this point, a county commissioner quietly started to lay the groundwork for a partnership with UNM and the neighborhood to upgrade the golf course and to improve the permanent trail. So the county, um basically gave the university $1.5 million, again, dedicated for specific purposes, uh, renovating the, upgrading the irrigation system, building a path, restoring, or beginning to um, restore the um, trees and plantings that were really, the ones that exist now, really reaching the end of, of their lives. And in exchange, we got um, a conservation easement for 15 years and the ability to close the course twice a year. It's a great place to go at sunset and yeah. not just watch the sun go down, but also watch the community members who come out at that time. That's like a, um, a tradition for a lot of people and you'll see kids, families, dogs, um, runners, you know, world-class athletes. You know, everybody's kind of there and it has become a really great um, kind of community gathering space. The community response was even more overwhelming than I had expected. You know, I knew that this was important to um, the North Campus community, but it's really important to people um, throughout Bernalillo County. You know, people have gone to UNM, you know, as students, you know, they all have really fond memories and recollections of, you know, spending time there. This is something that really makes a difference to people. and and just to walk there at sunset and see the families and just the trees and just the beauty that's there. There's kind of this um, calm that exists in an open space of that size that you don't find anywhere else. That project, uh, the collaboration between the university and the county, really preserves something that's unique to Albuquerque, 
something that makes us a special place to live and something that will be preserved for years to come. So as you just heard, this has been a big success for the county. In summary, the new partnership has significantly improved the relationship between the university and the neighborhood. It is the most popular open space facility in the county, built at a relatively low cost of one and a half million dollars. It uses less water, down from 75 to 50 million gallons of water per year. It's a better golf course, the turf's in better shape, attracting more golfers. It improved the two mile walking and running loop. And last but not least, there's lots of happy dogs and hawks and jackrabbits, coyotes and owls. And what are the lessons for other places? What can you do with this? This is a tactical planning strategy that can be implemented quickly and allows for incremental changes over a longer time frame. It has a relatively low cost with a high return in terms of utilization. It maximizes the utilization of irrigated turf. It requires a different way of thinking, flexibility and adaptability among different users of open space. Golfers have to tolerate the occasional errant dog and dog walkers have to realize that golfers have little to no control over their shots and need lots of room. Finally, you need to have a good campaign to get the dog people to take care of business because as we all know, there's no poop fairy. Oh, that was a good shot.